So next up, guys, I thought we could look at some new backroom stuff. I've got four videos here from three different creators. We're going to start with Async Research. So this is a continuation of the tape that was recorded. OK, so this has been a series that's been ongoing. So uh, yeah, this is Backrooms Isolation by Async Research. And it's 11 minutes long. Let's chuck in, get comfy, have a cup of tea with some brekkie. People say that this one is kind of immersion breaking. Well, let's see. I'm going to build my own uh, analysis, my own opinion. What exactly is this? This is this the Gmod map. Where we keep all our suits. What do you think about the idea of going back in with us and um, trying to retrace your steps to help us find them? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I can do that. Uh, what, really? You do I that? I can try and help you guys find them. Sounds good. Also, can you keep the camera running so we have video footage of everything? Yeah, yeah, I'll keep... Uh, battery's low, dude. Sorry. We're running, do I'll it. film everything. So where did you last see them? Uh, the last time I saw Kevin and Phil was when me and Rob were leaving the main room. Okay, we'll head to the main research outpost first. Okay. Man, can you head over to the locker rooms? Yeah, I'm on my way right now. Okay. So Aaron's headed to the plan. We're heading in and bringing the kid with us. I live the walk cycle, man. You can put that camera down for now. Okay. Let's start changing the suits. Oh, wow, it's actually going to face it to walk. Okay. So that it, he's in the suit now. I don't think that async research would do that. They wouldn't put a random civilian and be like, oh, uh, wouldn't they just take his camera and be like, we're going to retrace your steps through the camera because he's been literally recording since he clipped into this place or whatever. You know what I mean? Why would they risk a civilian's life? Now, why is he breathing like Darth Vader? Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, he really is breathing super heavy. I feel like it's a bit weird because he's meant to have a camera, right? So the, the camera wouldn't really pick up on his breathing that much because it's on the outside. It makes no sense that they would go in with... Karen were picking up all that loud breathing. Is it the Gmod map? No, the, the Gmod map's based on uh, Kane Pixel's um, version of the back rooms, and so is this one. This is like a sub-series. Like, it's, it's obviously not linked to Kane's series, but it's like its own interpretation. Oh, damn. Uh, 
I just feel like you wouldn't be able to hear him breathing that much. You know what I mean? It's the only critique. Because if so, you'd be hearing these guys breathing as well. Unless the camera's actually in the helmet. I bet that guy just disappears. No. I mean, it's, the camera's not going to be much help, is it? Because he keeps looking down. Gas mask can be pretty loud at times. True. No, not really. None of this really looks familiar. Alright, we'll just keep that on the line until we reach the one we left out. Okay, sounds good. Well, I've been thinking like this. Sounds good. Man, it, uh, the breathing is making my, my, my head go light. How close are we? Uh, it's alright. It's kind of hard to breathe. Yeah, you tell me. Okay. What the hell is that sound? Is that, is that a freaking bird from the Amazon? Don't get me wrong, the visuals, the visuals are fantastic, like really good. the lost nerf bullets go yeah and the socks oh wow well, this is definitely new I don't understand the, the what's happening because because they they ask the cameraman to come with them to go find them, but they're leading the way and they know where to go. So what's the point in having the cameraman around? Oh shit! I'll start running now. What the hell? Oh, hell no! Oh no! Walter! Great, so now he's lost again. Oh, this was such a bad idea. I mean, if I was this cameraman and then I came across, like, people who obviously worked here, I'd be like, can I just go, please? I don't want to go back in there. Like, that was traumatizing. I do not want to go back in there. They'd probably kill you off. Walter. Put your protective suit on, Walter. The entity wants to have sex right now. The bathrooms. Welcome. To the bathrooms. It's pitch black out there. Walter. I'm not feeling too good right now, Walter. Oh, wow. There's just more emptiness. It's like looking into my soul. So it's interesting because uh, we're starting to uh, like hear from this entity. I think that the entity was in the one of the first videos. But the last couple of videos, you haven't really... It's just been more exploring. Well, the... 
Walter, I don't know where I am, Walter. Oh, is this part of the, um... The found footage too? Are they gonna do, like, the whole, like, car and everything as well? What the hell? What is it? Is that a person? Oh, damn! There's a guy down there! Right, well, that's a nice cliffhanger. I'd say, I mean, it's good. I don't know why people are complaining, in honesty. I feel like you do absolutely fantastic work, Async, and I'm never going to take that away from you, for sure. And I'll always kind of, like, you know, back you up. And I feel like people are being a little bit overdramatic with whatever. I think this is a fantastic video. But uh, the one thing I would say that would have improved this video is, you know, maybe... Um, the guy has a drink, some food, and, you know, like, he... Well, I don't know how it, how it could have worked, but just something where do, they don't just jump straight back in, you know, because he's supposedly been in there for days, apparently. I don't know if that's true. Other than that, I think it's fantastic, and I can't wait to see more of this. Um, but, yeah, keep up the good work, man. Just, you, you go with your vision, maybe cool it down with the breathing. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that was awesome. So there, there we go, guys. That was async research. Be sure to like the video. All that good stuff. We're going to move on. So this is, we've got two videos from Valox uh, coming up now. One is called Backrooms Level Fun Party Rooms, and the other is called Dashcam, which is interesting. So let's have a look at this look. 13th July, 2004. Level Fun takes the appearance of a children's birthday party room, having colourful table settings, what appears to be cake, and mur murals painted on the walls. Level Fun is the main habitat and main base of the partygoers. Due to the partygoers' advanced knowledge of no clipping to the point of creating quantum tunnels to find prey, there are massive numbers of entrance and exits to Level Fun. Jesus, so they're like setting up traps for random people to come into. Okay, let's jump into this then. Level, smiley face. Viewing of this tape without authorization is fucking illegal. Hey, get out of here. What is this? What do you think you're doing? Ah! Guys, if you need a voice actor, hit me up. Uh, anyone watching this at all. It could be for a porno. No, look, don't. <sighs> okay. horrible to think that like these guys set up traps in other levels so that you no know clip through to their levels so that they can basically eat you and if it's not your birthday well they don't eat you they turn you into a cake so i'm guessing there's going to be no actual party goers in this video because this is an exploration tape meaning it, f it focuses more on the environment and walking around that environment rather than you know getting chased and pegged by a party goer. Oh, you like that, don't you, you dirty bitch? Stop it, Ryan. This is that's weird. That's a different type of playrooms. Okay. <laughs> that's called the sex rooms. <laughs> uh, the sex goers. <laughs> oh, what's that on the floor? It's like a big shrimp. The porn goers. What is that? It's like an alien. It's like a baby party goer. The sex havers. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. They turn you into a butt plug. <laughs> you made it to the party. Woo! Oh, it could have been a kidney, actually, yeah. You're right. Mate, they're slow as hell, just run. They're only, like, really fast in groups, apparently. <laughs> Is that the guy screaming on the party gun? Ah! <laughs> oh, okay. He just spawned in freaking level run for your life. Lovely. Okay. That was a good one. Enjoyed that.
The gory laughing for oh, so it was the, them laughing. I thought they were like crying for help or something. This one's from Valox as well. It's called Dash Rooms. <laughs> Dash Rooms. <laughs> Back Rooms Dash Cam. It's only twenty seven seconds long, but I guess it's going off the whole like thought of a car no clipping into the back rooms. <laughs> well, Jesus. Try freaking explaining that to your insurance company. Oh, that was good. That was uh, Valox. Both uh, Party Rooms Exploration and Dash Cam. So be sure to like and subscribe, guys. Last but not least, guys, we got a video from Kane Pixels called I Remember. And we're going to just jump straight in. I need to pay attention to this one to get the lore intact. I had a form once. A manor overlooking the sea. Upon the world this was a vestige. Crawling forward Whoa. on strangled ears. That's so cool. But when skies turned dark, the house was taken by the sea. A pillar truncated. Passed down to the seabed with all the other forgotten things. I don't I don't think it went into the sea, mate. But I remember. Fleeting shells sinking ever slowly, folding downwards into themselves, forever tearing along the seams of the sky until nothing remains except the eternal ghost. And you ask yourself, could there ever be anything greater than this? Bacon sandwich? Wait, what? You've always been here. You've always been here. Goosebumps, tears, belly ache. <laughs> I think we're going a little bit over out of control here. Uh, at the end, the voice saying it has always been here makes me think of the back rooms like a collective unconscious, a dimension of forgetting made manifest. Think about it. Do you truly remember any of the types of spaces similar to the back rooms, office buildings, indoor pools, furniture stores? You might remember what you've seen in them, what's happened in them, but not the space itself. Not like you'd be able to map out your home or even city. Maybe the back rooms takes on its form because of what we've forgotten. Liminal locations. Objects like a specific couch or the giant chairs we saw in the found footage. Maybe even the monsters dwelling in the back rooms are things we've forgotten. Maybe they're forgotten people trying to claw their way back into living memory. Or maybe they're concepts like nightmares being twisted into a physical form. Accessing the back rooms could be imbalancing its very nature since you're sending something remembered into a dimension of forgetting. So areas where one can no clip are created in reality to try and balance it out. That's my theory. Jesus Christ. I, I'm re that just hurt my eyes reading that. Hello? Ah! There we go, guys. Well, I mean, that was that was fantastic. That was more uh, backrooms videos for some amazing creators there. Go check them all out. They'll be in the description of the YouTube video down below. Uh, and you guys in the twitch chat you guys can just check out now if you wish um but yeah that was awesome and guys if you're watching this if any of the creators are watching then keep up the good work uh, fantastic stuff